Good evening everyone. Just wanted to update on my riprap printer. I've got uh, all the drivers adjusted to where they do not overheat. All the stepper motors are not pulsing anymore. I've got everything running very smoothly. I can uh, move all the movements without any problems at all. I did have to take the lead screws apart and re-thread. Uh, they had some burrs and stuff. So I just cleaned up the threads on the lead screws for the Z-axis and oiled them and put it back together, readjusted everything. So I just wanted to update you on where I'm at. I have not calibrated anything yet, but uh, I've got everything running smoothly. And as I showed you before, I did put a fan on the all the drivers and the uh, electronics. Um, I showed you as well putting a uh, heat sink onto the hot end but I added something else to it another modification which I thought would be a good idea I put a uh, fan on the hot sink as well and a little uh, shield to direct the air up to the uh, heat sink which uh, works very very well it works great real pleased with how that works it's a little fan out of a laptop and it's 5 volts I wired it into the power supply so when I turn the power supply on the fan turns on immediately whether the hot end is on or not it works really good I readjusted my end stops I've got uh, the z-axis end stop adjusted to where the hot end does not touch the plate but comes within millimeters of touching it so I think that'll work I'll find out when I start printing and as I said I did move the uh, y-axis hot end to the uh, not hot end but the uh, end stop to the front I think that'll work better Nate suggested that for his so I thought it was a good idea so I went ahead and did it on mine a little SD card reader that uh, I need to see about getting that working yet I have the uh, hot end on right now that's why the uh, LEDs are on and now they went off so it's reached temperature go over here and show you I've got uh, software up and running it's really a neat program I like it a lot uh, check the temperature on the hot end 181 degrees I have it set for PLA 185 degrees and I noticed uh, it's plus or mi minus 5 degrees from 185 so it will go all the way to 190 and I'll drop down all the way to 180 which is a, a good set point for both ends okay um, I can home all the steppers so let me show you that and here we go x-axis y now the z is coming down don't know if you can see that yeah you can see the blue LED on the left side there when it goes out it'll be home So it works very well and it's amazingly quiet, the whole machine is. Once I start printing I'll find out how quiet it really will be. 
Okay, I'm going to bring the uh, z-axis up. I'm going to move it in four four steps. Uh, so come up in increments about 10 millimeters and four times. It runs very smoothly now that I've rethreaded everything. Okay, the uh, y axis I'm going to bring off the home stop. Now the x axis. So I'm very pleased with the machine thus far and calibration is next then I'll be able to print I'm excited well, that's it for now I'll show you some more when I start printing thank you for watching bye well, there's a problem with my video so they said it wasn't long enough it uh, was a duplicate of another it had the same time as all it was so I just add am adding a little bit to this video so I can upload it and get it on YouTube just wanted to show you uh, on my hot end that uh, I did extrude some plastic PLA and it comes out really nice just wanted to show you that That's it. Now I'll try to upload this thing. Thank you for watching.